warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today I have a wonderful, dark, sherry matured single malt whiskey here on my cask. It's the Tobermory, 25 years old, 48.1 ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored, well with a price tag of close to 400 euros. This Tobermory is part of the Hebridean series of the distillery from the Isle of Mull. And this is the successor to the 23 and 24 years old prior bottlings. And uh, these whiskies were matured in Oloroso sherry casks, but I think they were reused Oloroso sherry casks. And then they were finished in Gonzalez Bias Bodega sherry casks, which are special sherry casks. And I think they were close to first fill because this wonderful dark brownish, dark brownish with a light uh, red hue in it. Wonderful. Tobomori is a distillery which produces two kinds of whiskies. First, these unpeated non-smoky whiskies and the second one are the Lidgic, uh, written Lidaic for the normal English speaking people. So Lidgic and uh, those colors here, these uh, yellow on the top on the card box and there are other colors on the card box as well. They come from or they are uh, uh, show the surroundings of the distillery, which is located uh, close to the harbor. And there at the harbor front, there are those uh, very, very picturesque colored uh, small houses, which were, I think, those old fishermen houses, each one with a different color. Yeah, so this is uh, a wonderful dark Oloroso cask finish whiskey matured in sherry casks as well. So I expect to have a lot of oak influence, 25 years in oak, as well as the uh, Oloroso fruitiness of dark, mature, dried fruits. And they say, well, there's uh, pineapple and toffee car caramel notes along with lemon, honey, sweetness, and a zesty, vibrant finish. So here we go. Easy opening and the wooden stopper on the top shows the symbol of the Isle of Mull. The coastline. Mm -hmm. This is sherry cast maturation as at best. Yeah. I have it in the right rotation, I think a little bit less. This is how it should look. Yeah. Yeah. Dark, fruity, black, jam, peaches, a hint of citrus notes, not too strong, honey, a little nuttiness in it probably almonds, a little bit of mint, probably this 48.1 ABV gives a little bit of coolness in the nose. Yeah, very, very complex, very ripe. Yeah, cheers. Mm-hmm. Very oily, very strong, spicy oakiness, spicy aftertaste, very long on your the tip of your tongue shows the spiciness and in the back you have, you have the warming character of the malt and a little bit of, well, some exotic spiciness, mm. nutmeg probably. Yeah. Blackberry. Might be blackberry. Yeah. Mm 
-hmm. A wonderful oiliness. And then you really feel the age of the whiskey. 25 years in oak, in sherry oak. Refill and then finish in first fill. Wonderful depth, wonderful sherry note. This is 100% sherry. Yeah. And no bitterness at all. 25 years of age, no bitterness in the aftertaste. No. Probably a little bit of cinnamon in it. Cacao. Oranges. This Sarge's chest, they said. I think it's, it's sweeter. It's oranges. Candied oranges. Wonderful to give you here the end of the expression. Expression three of our annual Hebridian series release celebrates the varied coastline of Mull with a whiskey resting for 10 years in Oloroso sherry cask at our distinctive coastal distillery. The result is a stunning sherried malt with its end wind with signature Tobomori and then pineapple and toffee caramel notes along with lemon honey sweetness and a zesty vibrant finish. I'm lacking the honey. The rest is perfectly described. Yeah. Established 1798. So this is a really an old one. Not only the whiskey, but as well the distillery. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Thank you.